This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on the basics of editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create a three-point back time and replace edit in Premiere. But there's a couple of other edits I want to explain before we stop. I want to set an in just before the horse steps in. Right there, we can see the wagon bar coming in right there. And I want to set an out right where that harness leaves. Right there where that... Let go one more step. There we go. Set it out. So I've got a four-second clip. And let's pretend that he's talking about the horses right here. So I'm going to set an in in the timeline, letter I. I'm going to set an out in the time. I'm going to leave the out alone because I've set the out up here. This is called a three-point edit. I've got an in and an out in the, in the source and an in and the timeline, and I set my patching so it goes to second level, and click overwrite. It automatically edits starting at the in in the timeline from the in to the out in the source monitor. This can sometimes get you out of a serious problem where you need to be really precise on where that shot starts. Well, you can set an in in the timeline and an in and out in the source monitor. But there's another thing we can do. Watch this. Here, I'm going to set an out. And the out, notice that's where that harness, just right here, where, where this little pointy thing just hits the edge of the frame. Now, when we're talking horses plowing a field, it's not relevant. But let's say it's sports, and we want to do an edit where the runner crosses the finish line. I care much more about where he finishes than where he starts. Well, now we do what's called a back time edit. Notice that I have two outs, one in a timeline, one in a source monitor, and only one in. When the outs outnumber the ins, rather than editing from the beginning of the clip, we edit from the end of the clip and do what's called a back time edit. Now watch what happens when I click the overwrite button. It edits the clip matching the out in the source to the out in the timeline, and notice that it is precisely the same frame there's that harness about to go out of the frame. And so as we play this, it edits not based on the start of the clip. It edits based upon the end of the clip. So I can set ins and outs inside the source monitor. And I can simply drag clips down and build in any order. Or I can start to take advantage of this and set ins and outs in the timeline and be much more precise or I can do a back time edit where the outs outnumber the ins and really control where stuff is going to start and stop. Premiere gives us all kinds of ways of manipulating the video inside the timeline and using both keyboard shortcuts and the mouse to make it as fast and efficient as possible. There's one more I want to show you. Here I've got a clip, and let's just grab the end of this. I'm going to talk about trimming in a second, but I want to make it really short. I want to make it about... Oh, I don't know, 12 seconds. Let's find something that runs at least 12 seconds. Cue the horses. Good, right there. Set an in. Okay, here's the way this works. I have an in where I want the clip to start in the source monitor. I grab the clip and hold the option key down. While holding the option key down, I drag the new clip on top of the old clip, and that quickly... Notice it went from McIntyre dehumanizes, hold the option key down and drag. It replaced the old clip with the new clip, matching the in of the source monitor to the in in the timeline and matching the duration of the timeline. Oh, the amount of time this saves is amazing. Any clip that I want to replace with a new clip, but not change the duration and not screw up the edit, hold the option key down and drag the clip from the source onto the clip you want to replace. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 282. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. 
you can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than nineteen hundred movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.